Many royal fans like seeing Prince William and his family out together. However, the Crown Prince will no longer travel with his son, Prince George. Prince George is set to celebrate his 11th birthday on the 22nd of July. As he gets older, his father Prince William is likely to soon revive a royal rule first brought in by his grandmother, the Queen. The Wales family has stepped out altogether on several occasions. Most recently, Prince William and Princess Kate were joined by all three of their children for the Christmas Day service at Sandringham. Royals fans were delighted to see the family put in force. But it could be that William and George will soon have to travel to royal engagements or tours separately. Now, here's the reason. Royal protocol dictates that two heirs should never fly on the same flight together so that the royal lineage is protected. Prince William broke this tradition when his first son was born and took nine-month-old Prince George with him on the same flight to Australia with the Queen's permission. William is set to revive the convention championed by his late grandmother, which requires him to make his travel arrangements, separate from those of his family. This also explains why King Charles and William never travelled together, and why Queen Elizabeth and Charles never travelled together while she was still alive. Growing up, William used to fly in the same planes as his younger brother Harry, and their mother, Princess Diana, with prior written permission from Queen Elizabeth. However, from the age of 12 onwards, William had to travel separately from the rest of his family and hasn't boarded a flight with Charles or Harry since. He turned 12 in 1994, nearly 30 years ago. William will likely begin travelling solo imminently, and when George turns 12 on July 22, 2025, he will be required to travel separately from other members of the royal family with no exemptions. This safety protocol should help avoid any unlikely tragedy from occurring. Interestingly, royals are not exempt from the customs and immigration rules but are usually fast-tracked through this process. The late Queen Elizabeth was the only royal who didn't need a passport, as passports are issued in the name of Her Majesty. However, she was forced to go through an identity check every time she flew in and out of Britain, giving her full name, age, address, nationality, gender, and place of birth to immigration officials. Would you like to be a royal someday? Do you enjoy all the rules of royal life? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to the Royal Diaries channel and turn on notifications to get alerted when we upload interesting videos like this one. Make sure you watch the next video on our channel which shows you how Kate Middleton is forbidden from giving out her autograph.